Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Melanie April Art. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Priscilla. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Melanie. All the Melanies in the house. Woot, 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 woot. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, Josie. Good afternoon. Hello, Shannon. Good morning. Good morning. <gasps> I do. I am. Thank you. I came in my pajamas today. I thought, I thought, you know, it's Sunday. Let's have some solidarity and Sunday vibes. So good morning. Good morning. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Ikundeo Emmanuel. Please tell me your name so I can say it the right way. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. Thanks, Priscilla. Good morning. Jeffrey Hallett in the house. Number one husband in the house. Should I start doing that? Number one husband in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I hope you're in your pajamas or in your relaxed comfies. If it's afternoon or evening, I hope you're wearing something cozy. I hope you brought a delicious beverage. Good morning. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Excellent. Youngest little lady in her jammies. Of course. Yeah, that's the right thing. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my gosh, really? A Kandeo. Well, good morning or good afternoon, my friend. Celebrating this time with you. Hello. Hi, Mads. Good morning. Okay, I have some coffee. I would like to salute you for the most magnificent Sunday ever, ever, ever. And celebrating this day celebrating this light, celebrating this love with you. Here's to us. Cheers. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning. <laughs> That's beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. I love that. Sacred names, very important. That's kind of what we're going to talk about today, too. So you're right on, you're right on cue there, my friend. So today, I like to welcome you to a new Sunday and a new experience and a new light and a new love and a new joy in this time now. As we are always choosing our experience, as we are always choosing our perspective and I don't need to tell you, do I, that there's a world pandemic happening? Did, did you know? <laughs> um, and this is our time to come together and choose to be in our hearts, be in our heart lights, be in our joy, be in our love, be in our perspective. Be in our humor, as I'm reading number one and Melanie, your conversation there. You can't tell between day and night close, day and day wear. That's right. Um, <laughs> to be in our joy. So let's begin as we do in the mornings, and that is to love and welcome ourselves into this day. You know, it's only silly if you let it be. It's only dumb if you choose that. Um, if you're really in for the miracles and the grace of this time <laughs> and the hot flashes, then you're going to do what you're going to do to feel good and be in alignment. Am I right? So good morning. Hello, beautiful. So you say this to yourself. Hi, beautiful Robin. <laughs> Have a beautiful day. Thank you for being so amazing and awesome. Thank you for being 
proud and strong and courageous and brave and for choosing to see the joy in this time. Thank you and I love you and have a great day. So you do something like that. Um, did you, and then I say you choose a word for the day. So did you choose a word for the day? My word today is rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And I'm thinking of the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young song, you know, that sings, Rejoice, rejoice, we have no choice but to carry on. But there's also the Emmanuel um, song, if you like that, Rejoice. I will sing, chant the beauty of the good. I will rejoice about this time. What is there to rejoice about? Well, I am so glad you asked. <laughs> and please share your words of the day. You know, I love to see them. Yeah, the more the merrier, because the more of us who use that word, just think of the more energy we're adding to the world, you know? Rejoice! Yeah, are you taking that too? I love that. I love that. Your word of the day is move. Yeah, like, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> I like that too. Nourish, another gorgeous word. Play, that is beautiful too. Connection, thanks Josie. Connection, that's beautiful. Rejoice, okay, good. So what is there to rejoice about? Well, I have a whole thing of notes for us from Spirit. Um, I sit for guidance, I ask, what can we... What can we do together as an amazeballs love posse here? Magic mornings and the energy of rejoicing and celebrating and claiming what is good about this time, looking for the miracles in this time. That's what came through so clearly. So I'm like scribbling all my notes here. And you know what happened next? The radio, as we also often have the cosmic DJ. The radio played, hail, hail, the gang's all here. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's us. We're the gang. We're the posse. And, and it was just minutes before we gathered. So I love that. So this is a time of unprecedented adventure. You know, unknown could be terrifying but it could also be joyful and exciting and adventuresome, you know, like we've never been here before. This is an adventure. We're entering into the unknown. Wow, the opportunities. Untold treasures could come through this time. If you choose it. If you choose it. You know, I can do this. I can rejoice. I can be glad. You know, um, sometimes we come. All right. Just a little fashion adjustment here. And somebody's a little bit hot. Um, sometimes we come here and we sing. This is the day that the Lord has made. Or we can sing. This is the day that the vortex made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So it's always our choice. I encourage you, and this is not the Robin opinion, this is what came through for you today from Spirit. Make a statement of intent today. What is your intention for today? That's the word of the day, but also what is the perspective you are going to choose to ride in today? It's just a question. You know, and you're being given an opportunity. And I tell you what, even if it was a hard night, even if it was a difficult morning or an afternoon or an evening, even if it felt challenging, now is new. And just like that, you can choose again. You're always free and you will be aided, assisted, loved, you know, encouraged. It will come to you, the energy. Jeppy says, right, hopefully we can always find something to rejoice about. Coffee, music, friendship, adventure, PJs, right, pizza night, movie. Um, I don't have to uh, comb my 
my hair today. I don't know. You know, like there, there are things we can celebrate. So this is such a beautiful time, a great time of healing, a great time of healing. You know, those of us, I've, I've said this for a while now, who've had edges, we've been healing. Let's say, you know, we've been overly pessimistic about our abilities, overly pessimistic. You know, we haven't had our own backs. We haven't been as loving and encouraging of ourselves as we could have been. This is a time to decide. I, from here on out, I will love and celebrate myself. I will love and celebrate my journey. Not one more time will I disparage me. Whether it's what I look like, what I'm offering, what I want to do. I won't talk down on my dreams anymore. I won't talk down on my abilities anymore. You know, this is that time. Yes, Priscilla's working on a gratitude journal today and it's going to play today. Yes, today, Sunday. So I can do this. I can. And yesterday we were talking about this. I said, I was born for this time. You were too. You can choose to rise. Uh, let's see. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're a path maker. Think about it this way. You're a path maker. You're forging your road ahead every single moment of every single day. Think about that for a sec. Well, I have some more delicious coffee. <laughs> um, you're a path maker. And how are you making your path? With your focus, with your intention, with your attention, with your conversation, with your words. That's how you're making your path. So what are your words like lately? What have they been like? What would you like them to be now? What are you choosing to say about this time, about people, about what's going on in the world, in the news? What are you choosing to say? It's so powerful, right? And think about it like it's kind of cool because in your mind right now, you're thinking thoughts that feel like the reality, but they're really just thoughts you're thinking. You're just thinking. So you could be thinking anything right now. And my prayer is that you are thinking in a way that is celebrating and rejoicing you, the opportunities of this time, um, for every complaint or every fearful story that you, you can catch one or two and make a correction right now. Choose again. Choose with love. That's my prayer. Um, in the Course of Miracles, it says, I choose joy, not pain. I choose love, not fear. It's a choice. It's a choice. Thank you for the hearts, by the way. I love those so much. <laughs> Feel free to put more. Um, on Sundays, they should make them donuts, don't you think? Donuts. I can't remember the last time I had a donut, but I looked out the window today and I saw people walking with coffee, their own coffee from home. But I said, you know, suddenly I'm craving donuts. I think we should have donut hearts today. <laughs> um, love or fear, it's up to us. So your trust is required at this time. Your love is required at this time. And you know, having your back is required at this time. It's so, it's so important. And Josie says, my intention is to continue to follow my joy today. My day started, is that an alien? Um, but it changed to, I know, it started, yeah. And that, you know what, wouldn't it be so awesome um, I told Jeff, we went for a walk and I said, you know, I might share this tomorrow. So I guess I'm going to share this now. <laughs> um, you know, we might start out rough in the morning or we might have a dip in the afternoon. Something might happen and we just go down a little bit. 
But the beauty of noticing that we're going down a little bit is there's one in here who's like, uh-uh, I don't want to do that. So how do I love myself? How do I help myself? You know, how do I shift myself? And thank you for those. Ooh, those look good. Chocolate uh, donuts, thank you, with icing. Yum. How do I embrace that part of me? And I, I sometimes when I talk to friends in healing sessions, they're so hard on themselves. They're really critical of what what they're noticing and how they are. And there's a lot of fix it energy happening, you know, like I'm noticing this upset and I have to fix it. And there's a simultaneous energy of, I reject this part of me. I reject it. It's not love and light. It's not spiritual. Out it goes. Well, what if we, you know how I show you this belly and high heart. What if we hold ourselves, love ourselves, Think of the most adorable puppy dog right now. Pretend it's in my hands and it's crying. What would you do? You would be like this. You know, you would be like, I, I love you. I love you. I've got you. I'm with you. It's wonderful. It's all right. You're okay. And then maybe you would start to be curious. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I sound like Gollum. Why does it cry, precious? <laughs> Why do you cry? You know? Number one kiddo in the house. Woo! Hello. Why? So hold yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be sweet to yourself. You got a thought that happens. You got a story that happens. You got something you don't like that's going on. Don't be mean to you. Don't be a jerk to yourself. Do you realize how awesome you are? How beautiful you are? How loved you are? How surrounded you are? Show up in your heart and be kind with how you're feeling. I'm going to scroll back a little just to read these comments. Yeah, so that's, that's where I'm coming from. Um, and Debbie was saying, you're a pathfinder. Yeah, you've been asking, what am I going to do with this time? Rather than asking, what do I choose to do? Oh, what should I do with this time? Yeah, what do I choose? What do I choose? Because everything is a choice and we're choosing. We're choosing. So yesterday I was saying we were out for a walk and I don't know what happened it doesn't really matter, but I felt very, suddenly I felt fearful. I felt exposed, like I was out in the open air, you know, and I'm thinking about number one who has had the most amazeballs um, recovery and healing from cancer. It is just like, wow. But you know, that it just makes you feel like I don't want to do anything to create a problem for him. So I became very tearful. And then it was like so fast. <laughs> I was like shaming myself like crazy, beating up on myself. It came like in seconds, you know. And then I remembered a conversation I had with a friend earlier. And I was like, you know, how would you hold yourself if you weren't being so mean? What do you need? And that was all it took. So, you know, I come back in and it's like, you know, I, I do, I need to work through this energy. So we had a conversation and we decided we're going to go out again today for a walk. Maybe we'll go out a little earlier when there are less people around and I don't feel so like, <gasps> you know, it's just, you can, you really can't help how you feel. Did you know that? So if anxiety comes to you, if fear comes to you, if, um, you know, it's not your fault. You're not bad. You're not a failure. You're not uh, doing your journey in a stupid way. <laughs> no, just be so very loving to you and choose again. Yeah. Melanie, isn't that true? Treat yourself like you treat your beloved doggy. It's, it's powerful or like number one kiddos here. 
how I would carry her as a little girl and love her and appreciate her and sometimes just look at her and just melt. Why not do that for us too, you know? Our other beautiful Melanie, all the Melanies in the house. All right, I love it. I get petrified by the shoulds. I like choose. Yeah, you know, a should is not your original thought, really. Think about it this way. You got anybody bossy in your life? Does anybody have a bossy person in their life? I'm not bossy. I'm just raising my hand that I may or may not have bossy people in my life who tell me what to do. That's a should. That didn't originate here. That didn't originate in my heart. So inquiry is powerful. Really? I should do that now? Seriously? <laughs> really? Ask. Don't just let that run you over and then feel bad about it the rest of the day. I should really, I don't know, I should really eat my veggies today. I should really move my body. I should really um, start that website, you know. Da -da -da -da. No. <laughs> Choose. How do you choose to ride in this time? So um, I'm lo I'm looking back at the notes from from this morning. What I what came through for all of us here. And again, you are a path maker. And what kind of path are you forging for yourself now? That's all up to you. You can forge a beautiful path. You know, some folks are choosing. Some folks are choosing to forge a path of fear for themselves. That's their choice. They have free will. They're free to do that. And you know what? We don't need to correct anybody. We can invite people gently in to make a new choice if they want help. But we're here to take care of us. So, you know, you're here to forge a path. How is your path going to roll? Is it going to be joy? Is it going to be adventure? Um... Is it going to be delight? Are you just going to be crispy and afraid? Whew. I hope not. You know, sure that we're all going to hell in a handbasket during this time? I hope not. But, you know, again, we're free. Afraid of uh, whatever, we're free. Or we can notice the feeling and choose a new choice. And whatever you're choosing, you're always being met by love. There's an energy of love. Maybe you call it God. Maybe you just call it spirit. Maybe you're just like nature fairies. You know, I have to take this off. Somebody's warm there. <laughs> uh, nature fairies, whatever you want to call it. But the, the energy of love is always meeting you and <laughs> it's multiplying whatever you're asking for. Think about it that way. So be, let's be so very intentional now with what it is that we're going for. So your trust is required. These are the last few things. Checking the time. And feel free, if you guys just got here, did you pick a word for the day today? Number one, kiddo. We're talking about the word of the day today. Um, if, you, if you guys haven't shared, what is your word of the day today? This time, it really could be seen like an interesting caper. I keep saying this. It's an interesting caper, and I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Isn't that a more open and freeing and joyful way of exploring this? Isn't it? It's like it leaves room for miracles and blessings. It leaves it open. We haven't decided, oh, you know. It's, it's all going to, I like Jeff wrote, hell in a handbasket. You know, it's all, we're all going down in flames, but we're not. So many of us are thriving now. There are so many blessings. It's easy to stay in the upset and the complaint, but it's a beautiful thing to consider. Am I um, insulating myself with all these complaints? Am I somehow blocking what I really, really want. Because sometimes we do have to open our hands and release what we've been carrying. Sure, 
There's a lot happening now, but you know, some of us can choose to let it go and think about what we want instead. Like, come on, good opportunities, abundance, joy, friendships, celebrations, you know? Jeff, your word today is intentional. I love that. Very good. And harmony, Val, that's great. I love that word so much. Harmony. Beautiful. Harmony and me. Pretty good company. Who sang that? Was it Elton John? I love it. So your trust is required. Here's the thing. Could you be trusting that the good is coming for you? That you're all right? That it's it's okay to relax. It's okay to rest. It's okay to let yourself have some um, thoughts about what you would love during this time. It's okay. Your trust is required. You have to trust. I would rather trust, though, than be sure I know, you know, that it's all crap. <laughs> I'd rather trust that good good is coming, good is happening, than be sure that it's all terrible. So, you know, chant the beauty of the good. And this is a time of abundance, of great abundance. I can't, you know, make anybody choose that. I can't make anybody see it. I, I just know there are so many blessings happening. And if you broaden your perspective from just money, abundance in terms of other things, people helping other each other, kindness, love, um, reminders, you know, stuff like that. But also money, for sure. For sure. You know, th all the money in the world has gone nowhere. It's still flow, flowing and floating and flowing. And if you want some of that now, then you need to be a hospitable host. And a good host or hostess is one who says thank you, who celebrates with gratitude, who, you know, is not complaining, is not saying they're broke or on a limited budget. I understand we're not arguing for our limitations. We're not arguing, but I really am. You know, we're not doing that. We're just understanding that the flow of abundance is an energy that comes and goes. And if I want to be a welcoming hostess, goddess to abundance, then I need to be one that wants to have it stay. And if I'm complaining, it's not a match. If you look at the vibes, you know, it's not the same energy. So it can go, it will go. And really it's a, it's just saying, you you know, what you're, you're, the path you're forging right now is one that is not in alignment with abundance. So I will go. It'll come back just as easily. So we can make that a practice. You know, trust in this time. Wonders and miracles will continue to happen for you. Your journey continues. All the things you wanted for yourself before this time began, they're still in the works. They're still coming to you. So, you know, if up until right now, you've been treating this as the apocalypse, put the word love in front of it and you'll understand a little bit better about what's happening for you. So shall we do a magic prayer today? I'm kind of liking that, that we've been doing those more. Um, I vote we do it. I know it's Sunday, so we'll do a magic prayer and then we'll hang up and you can go make your uh, donuts and deliver them here. I'll just put my address in the comments, okay? <laughs> donuts, not pancakes or waffles. Donuts, please. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that word for you. That's very good. I get it. I get it. So let's do a magic prayer today, okay? Um, if it feels right, you can center in your heart. If people are staring at you and you don't want to look like a weirdo, that's fine. You don't have to 
touch anything. Just do your soul self, invisible soul self is doing it with me. Hearts here, hearts aligned. I call on the guides and the angels that ride with my friend right here. We're going to take a breath together. And any of you requesting, just put it in the comments for you, for a friend, a name. Let's go. I call on the angels that ride with our posse. I call on the angels that ride with our community. I call on the angels and the ancestors that ride with our friends and family and the whole world now. Be with us, love us, and support us in the following choices for today. The following choices, people, and requests for today. May we be blessed. Here, you guys, I did it again. Look, can you tell? The sun just like went. <laughs> you, it's, it's so amazing. I forgot to say there's like a bazillion red cardinals outside chasing each other around too. I request love and abundance, reminders of the miracles. May we rejoice in this time. May we feel patience and love and understanding. May we experience harmony and ease and be so very intentional with our choices as path makers. May we know it's all for our own choosing. Help us to be clear with our words, our language today. Help us to be intentional in our hearts, our thoughts. And I ask that you surround and love our friends for Tariq, for Maureen, for and for anyone that you want to name now. Bless and surround our friends. Help them to feel the love and the joy, the love and the joy. I choose joy. Help us to choose the joy, not the pain. And, you know, chant the beauty of the good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Amen. And a ho. And a hoy. <laughs> And we say ahoy because a long time ago, a friend of mine went to a sweat lodge and she had been coming to our healing circles for a really long time. And the whole time when we would end with a ho, she thought I was saying ahoy. So she went to a sweat lodge. Just picture it. <laughs> First time by yourself, new surrounding, new people, and you want to be impressive you know you want to look like you know what the hell you're doing so they end and she's like ahoy <laughs> and the whole room was like what so she came and she was so embarrassed and so upset and i was like you know what from now on we will always say ahoy and i have never stopped <laughs> because really it's like truly we are spirit pirates Sailing these seas, you know, pillaging, plundering, for looking for gold, looking for joy, looking for adventure. Isn't it so perfect? So that's why we always say ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, Tiffany, ahoy. <laughs> so, you know, I hope you have the most best excellent Sunday. Get out there if you want to and celebrate how beautiful it is. If people are driving you bonkers today, if you're feeling upset in your heart, put some music on and change the channel for you. You're doing it for you, not for anybody else, because you want to be a hospitable hostess and host to all the things you wanted even before this all started happening. Okay? That's why we're doing it. So... I will be here. This has been me, Robin. I will be here again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Um, these replays go up on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. There's a nice little collection of them there. 
so you can share them on with your friends and I even have the mp3s up on my website for a kind of a pay what you want offering if you if you'd rather just have all the audio files it's really nice for me this is what helps me stay in my heart stay in my joy stay in my memory of what the hell I'm really going for because this world you know you just need to Try, I said yesterday, try and get through YouTube just to get to my favorite cooking channel or my crafting channel or my gardening channel. And I have to blow through 8,000 things on the news that just the picture, the images, it's like, yikes. So, you know, intentional, intentional, intentional. And, oh, Josie, the highlight of your day. Thank you. That is the best feedback I could ever ask for. Um, I appreciate you being here. I mean, if nobody was coming, I would not have the courage to keep doing these. So <laughs> if you weren't here, I wouldn't be either. And I thank you for that. And, you know, friends, please support this love. I um, am still offering healing sessions one-to-one. -one. I'm working. Um, if this is a time for you, please be in touch. If not, I, I, I welcome donations. There's a link right here in the profile, but I also welcome your support of this love. So to find a friend to share this with is equally, if not more powerful. Let's keep sharing the word because there are so many of us who need this healing. We need this, not because we're pathetic, but because this is our time to rise and we all need support in you know, rising and shining. Many of us were the only one in our family who's like this. I had a therapist once who called us mutants. I didn't really love that term, but it still cracks me up. <laughs> There's one of us in the family, you know, so come here and be with us and share this on. If you know somebody who's a light sparkler too, or an undercover light sparkler, share the love that way. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you here at nine and tomorrow morning and nine Chicago time, three in the UK. And I also have a new episode of Tea with Robin, the podcast that'll drop first thing in the morning. There can never be enough Robin if you ask me. So <laughs> X-Men, yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I never even connected those two, but you're right. You know, that is it. And I would be, I like the blue one, Jennifer, uh, what was her name? Mystique. I loved her, Mystique. I have all these superheroes that just really inspire me, including Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. All right, so I'm going to go. Lots of love. Oh, that is really nice. Sometimes I hear what's coming out of my mouth and I feel a little embarrassed that I just said that. So thank you. Thank you for saying so. So I'll see you manana. And, uh, you know, as soon as my donuts are ready, feel free to drop them by, okay? I love you. You got this. You're amazing. Don't forget, please, how awesome and beautiful and empowered and miraculous you are. Thanks, honey. Love you. I'm proud of you. That's for number one, kiddo. Um, thanks, you guys. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Bye. I'm hanging up now. Ciao. Lots of love. <laughs>